Hello, welcome to Exercise with Exos. Uh, I'm Jay Nenclade. Got a fun workout plan for us today. So hope you're excited as I am. So today we'll be doing our regular uh, no equipment needed, but I do have a mat. So for some stuff we'll do it on the floor. So get that out if you have one. So today we'll be doing a circuit full all the way through six exercises, just one big circuit today. So I'm gonna walk us through what that's gonna look like. We'll warm up and get into it. So first one we're gonna do is gonna be 40 seconds. So there's gonna be a new exercise every minute, but the amount of time on the exercise will vary. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be hip laterals and extension, 20 seconds each side. So it looks like we're in our kneeling position here, hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. We're gonna lift up one leg. We're gonna bring it to our side like this, down to control, and back up. Try and keep that same angle in our knee the entire time. Good for our outer hip and glutes. Good mobilizing strength to warm up. So we our first one, 20 seconds each side. Next, we're gonna do is gonna be skips, five forward, five backwards. So for this one, uh, we're skipping forward, one, two, three, four, five. And then reverse each, two, three, four, five. Staying on my toes, driving my quads up, so they should be around at least perpendicular 90 degrees to the floor. So 40 seconds there. Next one, we're gonna be on the ground, uh, doing some uh, plank shoulder pads, work on the shoulder stability and core strength. So here, we're gonna be up on our plank like so, about locking down our core, then every 10, or excuse me, under five seconds, we're gonna lift up, try to touch our hand to our opposite shoulder, Trying to stay in the plank position. So not rotating, twisting up as we do that shoulder touch. Trying to stay as much as we can down that plank. Next one is going to be bend over T's. So for this one, be our hip width. Right now we're bent over. Back nice and flat here. Palms face together to start. And then they rotate up, squeezing our back together. Going down. On this one, I think about driving my elbows up so they should feel like they're the highest position of our, elbow, our arms. Helps with that back squeeze. So then, next, we're doing leg raises. This one's going to be 15 seconds uh, per movement. So I'll grab my hand out to my side here. They can be just slightly under our butt if that's really more comfortable. But it's going to be 15 seconds, just little flutters like this. And then we'll go little crosses, 15, 15 seconds. And then we'll go to our big ones, 15 seconds. So 45 seconds total on that one. And lastly, what we do is just some quick forward and backward jumps, 30 seconds there. So I'm going to use my bottom line for my mat, just looking straight forward. We'll stay on my toes this whole time. Use my arms, do quick little hops forward and backwards over this line. So that is what it's looking like today. So I'll explain, re explain how we go through it. But to start, I'll do a quick little warm up. So we're just going to do a little dead bug hold. Dead bug hold opposites. So dead bug hold, we're on our backs. Legs are up in the air, back like so. When we're squeezing our core, pushing our low back into the floor, pushing hard on our knees, we're going opposite leg, opposite arm, stand straight down. Good for activating the core, loosening up shoulders and legs a little bit. Think about pushing our low back into the ground. Entire time. We go three on each side. So about one more. Good. All right now, let's go ahead. Stand up. We'll do 
is do some uh, foot grabs to loosen up the hips a little bit. So grab just outside my knee, the same side, grab that foot, the other side, other hand, squeeze it up, pull it, and then let three side, go to the other side. So we'll do three on knee to each side, do a rep, the world's greatest stretch, and start. On up. Good. Now we're going to our world's greatest stretch. So now, stand here, right on our knee, standing tall, hold in position for a second, lunging back, want to keep his legs straight as possible. Hands come down inside of our foot, rotate through that same side, look up to the sky, hand comes down outside our foot, lunge back, do those stretch that hand. Set. Go to the other side now. So we the other knee the kayak, holding that balance for a second, lunging back with my leg straight, hands come down to the entire foot, rotate through that same side, hands come down to the upper foot, extend back, get in that stretch, do that kind of turn, and good. All right, so that goes warm up. So we'll go ahead. Get started on this. So first one, I'm gonna get my timer ready. First one is the uh, uh, lateral hip raises and the uh, hip extensions. So get my timer card. Get my hands and knees. And three, two, and one. So 20 seconds each side here, we're lifting up, alternating up the side, and then back out. Great for loosening up, mobilizing the hip, and strengthening the smaller hip muscles. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides now, place that knee on the floor, flip the other leg. We want to try to keep our torso and hips Stay straight this whole time. Not letting them rotate up with our leg. In three, two, and one. Right now, let's get up. We got those skips coming up. Those skips, feeling off today. What we can do instead, just mark it. Five forward, five backwards. Still driving those knees up. So three, two, and one, five forward, but one change of direction, five backward. Get a little quick tap on the floor, stay on our toes. It's full time. Driving with quads up should be at least parallel to the floor, if not higher. Back flat, back over, palms together, facing each other in three, two, one. 
Good. We got our first shoulder touch. We want a little rock as possible on these shoulder touches. Good. Another one. Staying strong here. Come to the next one now. Here's the next 30 seconds in. Two more. Last one coming up. Three, two, and one. Very right, good. We're solving the timer. We're halfway through, so got a quick water. The shoulder taps can be hard to try to keep the body from rotating with it, but that's the whole point of those is to try to lock down our core and stop from that rotation. So let's take another second. We got our heads over W's. Next, then we'll start the timer again. We'll be started in 15 seconds. So we have just another 10 seconds now before we start on these heads over W's. So let's get a right position now. In three, two, and one. So driving the elbows up, squeezing our shoulder blades. We imagine there's an object, like an orange, baseball, something, those sorts, golf ball. And then our shoulder blades, we want to squeeze that as tight as we can. The imaginary. That's all that is. All right, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're on to our little leg raises again. Go down the mat for these. Again, we want to have our hands out to the side, but if we left them on our low back, we can place them under. Our butt area. So three, two, and one. So we're going to our little flutters now. We're going to head down the floor the whole time. Slow and controlled kick, keep our legs straight. So now we're moving on to crosses. So I'm crossing over. Good feeling that burn the bottom of our core. All right, let's go on to our big kicks now. 15 seconds here. Slow and control. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm going to get up quickly. Shorter transition as we go into these four backwards jumps. In three, two, and one. So we're going to try to look straight forward. You can straight forward from the future full time on my toes. Get off my feet as fast as I can, back and forth. Good, got 10 more seconds. Good, it's strong. Three, two, and one. That's good. I'm definitely gonna part right up compared to the spar that they can do. So now we're on our last round of this workout. Throw so back to our hip, laterals and extensions for the last time. I'm gonna try to get as much range of motion. The hands last round. So three, two, and one. Now we're going to more range of motion. So we need to make sure core is locked down, not rotating out with my other hip. Three, two, and one. And driving the heel up 
on these sketches. Good job. Got three more seconds. Two and one. Good. And now it skips or marches for the last time. Then we're going to try to stay, stay on our toes for this whole 40 seconds. No matter what we're doing, get four marches. So three, two, and one. Make sure we're driving our knees up on the flat ground. We're not doing any kind of lunges or squats today. This is what we're doing for legs. So drive up. Get that in direction. Take another step there. Over your forward. The five more seconds. Drive the knees up. Three, two, and one. Good. Now we have those taps again. And I'm wrapping that up. So now flip our plank in three, two, and one. Really lock down that floor. First shoulder tap, next. Good job. As little rotation as possible. Shoulder tap. Got another one. Tap. Good. When you can feel your body wanting to rotate out. Lock it in. Good. 30 seconds now. Triple tap. Two more. Shoulder tap now. Five more seconds. And last one. Good. Now, let's get up for our cover W's here. Time 10 seconds. So now we drive those levels up, squeeze shoulder blades together. In three, two, and one. Good. Drag the elbows up, keep my back flat. It'd be hard to do these back kind of exercises with no resistance, so we just want to make sure. Executing movement properly. Ten more seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. All right. Last two things. Leg raises are first. Put on our mat. Got little crosses and bigs, little parts. So three, two, and one. Low butters, slow control, legs fully straight, walk down. All right, 15 seconds. Move on to crosses. Got to keep our feet up. As much as we can until time. Good. All right, let's move on to base. Last part core of the day. Let's finish strong. Good. Five more seconds. Two and one. All right, stand on up. Last thing, 30 seconds, quick jumps. So three, two, and one. Again, like our skills from our toes, full time, with the straight ahead. Good job, let's go strong. 15 more seconds. Good. Last five seconds. Three, two. 
two, and one, and good. That, we'll wrap that. All right, now we'll take it to a quick, quick cool down. We'll take a few deep breaths here. Into the nose, out the mouth. Reach out that heart rate. Now, take us through a little stretch down on the mat. So, if you're ready to join me, go ahead and lay down. We'll do a little figure four hip stretch to start. Go down the slide. Is both feet are flat, knees bent. You're going to cross over one leg. So our ankles now is resting right below our knee. And we're going to lift that foot up off the ground now and grab behind our hamstring and release our fingers and just either hanging out here or pulling our legs in towards our body. Feel a nice stretch in the hip. This front leg here. So I'm still taking deep breaths. Cool down. Cool down components. Stretch out what we worked. As well, I understand heart rate. Good. All right, I'm gonna lower both feet down to the ground. Switch sides. Crossing other leg over, so my ankle right below the knee. Lifting, foot off the ground, interlacing my hands around the hamstring, and feeling that nice stretch through the hip of our leg that's crossed over. Good. It's meant to pay for what we got for the next. Good. I'm going to go ahead, lower down, stand on up, and now do a little groin stretch. Don't do a lot of it's not stretches normally, so throw it in. So we're going to do a little butterfly stretch. So we're going to bring our feet together, grab them around our hands, and then uh, Trying to pull our knees towards the floor is where we're going to feel stretch in our groin inner thigh area. Pushing those knees towards the floor, leaning the body over our front feet on this one. And also, the closer we have our feet towards us, the more stretch we'll feel. So, a lot of things. You can do on this one to feel a different stretch. And good. I will go ahead and release that and call it for today. So, yeah, yeah. that one's today's class. And I'll teach this one on Thursday 12 as well as boot camp Wednesday 12. So, I uh, hope to see you in some more of my classes and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Yep. Bye.